Hey guys, it's Lloyd, W4LVH from DX Central here with you this afternoon in the backyard as we're putting up a new FM Yagi Beam. Got a four element here from Amazon. It was about, about $43. She's got the F connector here. Um, what I've got it mounted on, because in my neighborhood, we're not allowed to do anything really permanent in this, you know, visible or whatever. So you see here, we've got this uh, 12 foot painter's pole that we got from Lowe's a couple years ago um, for amateur radio use that I use on Coastal DX. But since I can't really go to the coast right now, I'm repurposing it for this. So you see the clamp here that uh, clamps onto the pole. And then the other side of the clamp here post, uh, or puts onto the antenna beam itself. Um, we've got the F uh, connector coming out for the coax. This uh, part of the painter's pole extends up and then it comes down to here where the handle is, which I will then push through here to have a nice little sturdy base. It's just a couple of center blocks here, or uh, some bricks rather. Put them in the hole right here, sticks through. And then I've got these tent stakes and I've got about uh, it's a 12 foot pole. So I've got about 25 feet of parachute cord here that I'm gonna tie off with a hose clamp here. So I'm gonna put the hose clamp like up in this area, tie off the, uh, what are basically guy ropes to this tape that and cinch it down tape it down and then uh that'll come out right in this area right over here so that i can still turn the antenna if i want to for directionality um but it lets me at least um have something temporary that i can use so the hoa doesn't get upset neighbors don't get upset but still works for what i need it to work for here you see another solution that i've recently employed here this is my buddy pole beam that I had been using on FM, but now that it's six meter season for image radio, I've converted it to a six meter beam. You can barely kind of see it here in the trees, sitting on a tripod. And then as part of the buddy pole package, I have these nice guy ropes that I have stashed up here in my little wooded area here in the backyard. There you see my W6 LVP loop, currently on the ground doing a little maintenance to the rotor that's on there. Uh, which also actually can be used for FMDX as well. So what I'm going to have, I'll have my six meter beam here coming into my ham radio. I have this W6 LVP loop for AM and FM that'll be going into my RSPDX. So I can do that. And then this guy, the uh, FM beam, is going to be plugged into uh, my AirSpy HF Plus in the VHF side. And I'll also be uh, getting, as soon as it comes in, I have on order the uh, U-Loop from AirSpy RTL SDR as well. I uh, have the U-Loop on order for the AM HF side. So those will both be going into my AirSpy HF Plus. That uh, loop over there will be going into my RSPDX. I still get to have my six meter antenna all as well with the world. So I'm gonna get this uh, guy rope um, installed here, cinch it down, put everything in, connect it up to my uh, shack. I'm actually gonna repurpose See here, I have a two meter ground plane vertical here. I'm repurposing that coax connection. I only have four lugs uh, into my window panel there. So I'm out of space to run it through that way. So I'm gonna repurpose this one because I'm not using two meters a whole lot right now. Uh, so I'm gonna repurpose that coax connection. I'm gonna come down to a, where is the other end of this guy? Here it is. This into the F quad shield uh, with the F connector which I'll have put on a F to 239 connector and a, and a female to female adapter so I can run from the window, run a coax into this guy, which then runs out to my beam. And there you go. <laughs> complicated solutions, or yeah, I guess complicated solutions for simple improvements. And with some more of the FM beam temporary install here that we got going on. So I mentioned I have this, this couple of bricks here and provide the foundation for the painter's pole into the holes here slides in i also needed some way to keep these from kind of tipping over so i had this uh aluminum pole it's like a little antenna mask five foot antenna mask you can buy from lowe's or home depot or any hardware store really and i chopped a part of it off to use on another project so i had this probably one foot two foot long section so i put it through the holes and i took a mallet pounded that in now you can see it's got some good support once I put the other side over here with the beam. It should be nice and supported, especially once I get the guy ropes in. So 
wanted to show you guys a little, and again, ingenuity and homespun engineering to help this thing be stable. All right, finished product here. So we've got the antenna up, some four element FM beam, mounted up on a painter's pole. See, I've got the guy ropes here. These are uh, um, black uh, parachute cord. Left connector going down, then coming down to a electrical tape here, and to get the, again to the base, which is just two bricks. Mast uh, hole, handle of the uh, painter's pole through those other holes secured with a cutoff piece of um, antenna mast purchased from like Lowe's. Nice and secure on both sides, so I can't be twisting or anything like that. This is a uh, RG6 quad shield. And you see the guy ropes that are uh, holding. I have to tighten that one down a little bit. Maybe that one, probably that one as well. Tighten it down just a little bit more. But that's it. It's up. She's ready for some uh, e skip. Seventy three.